We're going to calculate the stock price for Masco using prior financial information. First, we need to mark a cap. Let's go to Yahoo Finance. It's $12.089 billion. Next, we need a stock price, $45.78. So that means they have 264 million shares outstanding. Next, we need a free cash flow. And we could just go to the financial section, go to cash flow. And the best way to calculate a stock price for a company is to estimate future free cash flow and discount those numbers back to today's values. And that's what we're doing in today's video. Next, net income. That's also part of the model. That's on the income statement. That's how much money a company made in a given year and last we need revenue for the last four years and that's also on the income statement and you should always look at your numbers even if you're using a model don't just let the model do all the work look at the inputs See if you see any patterns. It's a little concerning. 2019 revenue is a lot lower than the prior years. But let's keep moving forward. Now we need to look at the capital structure of Masco and figure out the discount rate we need to apply to future cash flows. So the interest expense this company pays on its debt is $159 million. Now let's find out how much debt they have. Let's go to the balance sheet, liabilities. And then current liabilities is the current debt, only $2 million. And non-current liabilities is a long-term debt. That's debt due past one year, and that's $2.8 billion. So they pay a decent interest rate on debt, 5.73%. Interest payments are tax deductible, so let's find the effective tax rate. Let's go back to the income statement. Look for income before tax, $914 million. And let's look at income tax, 230 million. So the effective tax rate is 25%. So the cost of the debt is 4.29%. Now let's find out the cost of equity. And we need the beta for that. And it's uh, 1.44, that's the volatility of the stock. So the cost of equity is 13.38%. So equity is more expensive than debt because equity is lower in the capital structure of a company and therefore it's more risky. So in the event of a default, debt holders are paid before equity holders. So 11.68%, that's the price Masco pays to obtain financing. So Masco needs to generate 11.68% of profit a year to add value to its investors. And if it does not after, year after year, it will eventually go bankrupt. So that's the rate we're gonna discount the cash flows by, the WAC, 11.68%. And let's see the results. We estimated the future free cash flow based off of input, inputs earlier. We discounted those numbers back to today using the WAC. And the value of the company is $6.7 billion. And when you, when you divide that by 264 million shares, we calculate the stock price to be 25.55. And it's actually trading at $46. So it's trading at a 79% premium. So we consider this a sell. So stocks can trade higher or lower than intrinsic value. As you can see, this is trading higher. But the stock price is predicated on supply and demand of the market. So the market is saying the stock is worth more than intrinsic value. Just for fun, let's look at the historical stock price of Masco. And, and this is around, so in, it always traded at a premium, it appears. It did drop, like everything in March, to closer to intrinsic value, but now it's trading way back up. So some analysts will say buy Masco, other analysts will say sell Masco, but each analyst uses their own model, their own unique assumptions. But you never actually see the model, 
This is my model and my opinion. So I hope you like the video and thanks for watching.